Today I am going to discuss about drum brake or sometimes it is called as internal expanding shoe brake and this is the figure of drum brake. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's start with the function of the brake. A brake is a device by means of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to a moving machine member in order to retard or stop the motion of a machine. So this is a very simple function of the brake. Now the application. Drum brakes here you can see are used in most heavy duty trucks, some medium and light duty trucks also and few cars, sports bikes and automatic transmission vehicles. Construction of the drum brake. So here you can see the very simple figure that definitely you can use in the examination for the drum brake. And this is the 3D figure so that you can understand the construction of the drum brake. An internal expanding shoe brake consists of two shoes S1 and S2. Here you can see two shoes. As shown in figure, the outer surface of the shoes are lined with some frictional material to increase the coefficient of friction and to prevent wearing away of the metal. Each shoe is pivoted at one end about a fixed fulcrum O1 and O2 and made to contact a cam at the other end. So here you can see the cam. In this figure you can see the cylinder because of it is hydraulically operated drum brake but it can be mechanically operated also so at that time the cam is used. Now the working of the drum brake. So here you can see with the help of this hydraulic piston cylinder arrangement, the shoes are expanded and so that the drum will stop. So when I applied the brake with the help of this piston cylinder arrangement, hydraulically the shoes are expanded both S1 and S2 so that the drum will stop its motion. Here you can see. When brake is applied, the cam rotates and so that the shoes are pushed like that outwards against the rim of the drum. The friction between the shoes and the drum produces the braking torque and hence reduces the speed of drum. The shoes are normally held in off position by a spring as shown in figure. The drum encloses the entire mechanism to keep out dust and moisture. Now advantages of the drum brake. This is actually hydraulically operated drum brake. So with the help of this paddle, the master cylinder can create the pressure with the help of this braking oil and so that the shoes are operated. Here you can see in detail about the drum brake. This figure is for the extra information of the drum brake. Now advantages, simple design, fewer parts, easy and cheaper to manufacture, low maintenance cost, comparatively longer life. Now disadvantages of the drum brake. So instead of the cam, you can use like that device also. So when it is on and off, the shoes are expanded. Now disadvantages. Low braking force compared to disc brake. Brakes fade when the driver applies them for a prolonged time. The brake shoes lining made of asbestos 
is harmful to the humans. When weight, the braking grip reduces considerably. Non-asbestos linings, if you are used, then it catch moistures, causing the brake to grab suddenly. If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.